bow at his feet He has done great things See what the Savior has done See how his love overcomes He has done great things He has done great things Oh, hero done great things. We dance in your freedom, awakened alive. Oh, Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high. Oh, God, you have done great And you'll be faithful forevermore Cause you have done great things, God We sing And I know you will do it again For your promise, yes and amen You will do great things Cause God, you do great things done great we dance in your freedom awake and alive oh jesus our savior your name lifted high oh god you have done great hallelujah just concluded a week of fasting and prayer. Hopefully, God has been moving in your hearts. And, I, you know, I was thinking about fasting and how do you break your fast? Recently, I was at the store, and you know, you're putting your stuff down the, down the, the conveyor, and I'm putting sausage, and bacon, <laughs> and ham, and I said, Thank you, Peter, because he said, whatever God provides is good when we give thanks. Our parking lot is full. I was excited. I know there's all this stuff going on. Thank you for all of you who made the trek to come here. This is the joint service between Dallas and Village Churches. Uh, again, it's the culmination of a week of prayer and fasting. Just a 
tremendous moment to be together. Thank you to everybody who is making this happen. There's a lot of stuff going on. This is a part of Revivify. Revivify to give new life. Revivify here in Adair. We've got things going on like this event tonight, the extravaganza coming up, an all-community Easter egg hunt to, for the children. That is a part of the campaign. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, there's a little QR code in the back. You can scan that and learn more. And right next to that is a sign for the Stephen Ministry. If you're familiar with that, you know how important that is. If you want to learn more, we've got folks here that are here to talk to you, to pray, whatever you need, part of the Stephen ministry. What a beautiful thing. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you for being a part of tonight. And stand, dance, sing, jump around, whatever God says, this is how I am going to express my faith and joy of being a child of God. Thank you for being a great cloud of witnesses around me. Amen. I'm going to pray as we continue worshiping. And as Scott said, however, we're going to be singing songs. We're going to be offering prayers and leading us, uh, leading us in prayers. And I uh, just want to encourage you to lean in to all that God is, is doing through these songs and through these prayers. And as Scott mentioned, we do have people available to pray as well if you would like prayer or pray for the person next to you too. But we're, we're all gathering here to take a deep breath and we're going to worship our God together. So let's, let's do that. I'm going to pray, then we'll, we'll continue diving in. Jesus, thank you so much for this space that we get to gather as a community. And God, we just offer this time and our hearts to you. And I pray that your, your spirit, your presence would lead us, would lead us tonight closer to you, closer to one another. And may love and faithfulness, forgiveness, all of that be the fruit tonight. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Let's keep singing. Do 
presence, let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory. Can sing that one more time, just our voices. Let us become. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. As we continue in our worship tonight, I just want to encourage us. Let's all take a deep breath real quick, right? All right, let's breathe in. God is with us here. Right now, I'm going to invite you to, whether you want to stay standing or sit, into a time of prayer together now. Um, we're going to take some time to, just, I'm going to read some psalms, and then I'm going to prompt us and give us some space to pray. And so, uh, however you want to do that, let's, let's dive into that. Start by reading uh, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Take some time to reflect on where you've seen God in your life recently, even through hard times. Maybe that's something today or or last week, maybe in this whole last year. But let's, let's think about that and take time to remember those things, to thank our God for his goodness and his provision, and that he is faithful to lead us. free to keep praying. Psalm 62, various sections of it say, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. I encourage you to take some time to reflect on what are you carrying into this new year? Unknowns, burdens, weights, Maybe even excitement and joy and hope for the future. I want to encourage you to take some time, as the psalm says, to pour out your heart to our God. Requests, petitions, thanksgiving, praise, wherever you are are at right now, know your soul finds rest in your God.
Psalm 16, 5 through 8 says, Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. to sing a song now that's called Firm Foundation, and it's a declaration that Christ is our firm foundation, both he has been and he will be, and whether it's a prayer that you can say on the back end of going through a hard season or something as a, a declaration in the midst of a hard season, let's let this be our declaration that in all things, good, bad, ugly, that our God is with us, that he carries us, and he actually invites us to trust him, to follow him in all situations and all things, and that he is worth leaning on. Nothing will quit. So let's sing this together. Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand, when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad I put my faith in Jesus. Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand, when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus, cause he's never 
Rain came and went blue. Rain came and went blue. But my house was built on you. I'm safe. Christ is my firm foundation one more time. Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's never let me down He's faithful through generations So why would he fail now? He won't Amen. Let's keep singing.
few moments just to feel once again the weight of Jesus's sacrificial death. So if you're a Christ follower here tonight, I, I, we encourage you to participate uh, in this memorial that has been called by a number of names over the years, Communion, the Lord's Supper, and even older school, Eucharist. We do this with bread and with wine or, or, or grape juice to remind us what Jesus has done and when he was killed on the cross, crucified on a tree on a hill they call Calvary. And we want to experience the Lord's Supper together tonight. So uh, I want to encourage you um, to come forward. You have some options here, I think. Uh, and uh, So come forward, and I'm going to keep talking, but uh, go ahead and grab. We're going to take it together tonight, so it might be a little different in your tradition. But... Um, if you want to come forward, and, and uh, we've got some bread, you can dip it in the juice and then just take it back to your seat, and uh, then we'll, we'll take it together. So come on forward and, and grab some elements. Somebody's happy. Oh, is it Ozzy? This is a, a powerful moment for all of Christ's followers, something that our, our churches do regularly. Jesus wanted us to regularly remember, and it's a, it's a powerful time. What happens when we do this together, it, it, it overwhelms our senses with the reality of Christ's sacrifice. And as we're going to see tonight, it's a shared experience. And for centuries, really since the beginning, it's a mark of unity. And what we do tonight will be a witness of Jesus' death until he returns. We receive the bread that's going to represent his broken body and the, and the juice or wine which represents his shed blood. So uh, one of our spiritual fathers from Scripture is the Apostle Paul. And in his letter to his friends in Corinth, the Corinthian Christ followers, that first century church, he wrote this, For I received from the Lord, but I also passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread and after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the, is the new covenant in my blood. Do this every time you drink it in remembrance of me. For every time you eat and drink this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. For this reason, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So then a person should ex examine themselves first. And in this way, let him eat the bread and drink of the cup. For the one who eats and drinks without careful regard to the body of Christ eats and drinks judgment on himself. So we do this tonight together in unity, but we also do it with the sobering reality. We examine our hearts, and so we take communion. Let's take the, the bread. And Jesus said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Let's do that now. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, 
He said, drink this in remembrance of me. This is my blood that was shed, a new covenant. Let's take the, the juice now. Jesus, we thank you for this reminder of your great love for us. May we always be mindful as we take this together that we're, we're proclaiming together your death until you return. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we're going to declare that in Christ alone is our hope, is our salvation. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ I stand. Let's declare in Christ alone who took on flesh fullness of God in helpless babe this gift of love Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on the cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I Let's shout this out. No guilt. 
boat in life, no fear in death. This is it. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to death, Jesus commands my destiny. Hallelujah. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from no power. No power of hell, no scheme of a man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. Thank you, Jesus, that you are with us and that you are for us and that your death, God, has covered every single sin. We are your people, the redeemed. And I pray, God, that you'd help us to own that identity in our hearts more and more, to turn from sin more and more, and to walk in your past and walk in your life, God, because you have given us new life. And we praise you for that. These songs are for you, and so we continue to lift them. In your name, Jesus.
your kingdom to come. We invite your kingdom to come into our hearts. We invite your kingdom to come into this room. God, we invite your kingdom to come into all the places where we live and where we work and where we play. And God, we invite your kingdom to do something in our lives. And that thing that we invite you to do is your will. God, your will be done in this church, in my life, in my heart. Father, your will be done. We thank you for your provision along the way, knowing that when, when we wake up, we have what we need because you give us daily bread. God, help us to forgive to release, to loose, and to cast off the debts that others, um, that we hold against them because ultimately you have forgiven us. God, let us breathe in your forgiveness, your love, your cleansing, the fresh slate, and let us start a new day. Lead us not down paths of temptation. God, lead us on the road of life. You have always invited your children to choose life. And God, when our heart and when our flesh and when the tiredness that is within us desires something different, God, help us to choose life. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from the evil we grew up with, the ways that we were discipled and taught to walk in ways that are far from you. God, help us to step and to set our feet onto a new path. God, deliver us from darkness. This week, as we fasted and we prayed, many of us did battle. And really, we were asking you to do battle for us. God, we ask you to go before us, to fight for us as your children, as your kingdom emissaries, as your church. Amen. 
Amen. We're going to sing one more song together. And that is the prayer of God's people that Andrew just read and, and prayed through. And because the beauty of what we're experiencing tonight, the beauty of God's love, the beauty of God's forgiveness, the beauty of God's firm foundation that he gives us in, him, in himself, he invites us to, to go, to, to share that with the world around us and how we treat one another and how we speak and how we proclaim that Jesus is Lord and how he is their savior too. And so we're going to sing one more song that just declares, God, build your kingdom here, here in Adair Village, here in Dallas, here in Oregon, here in this country, here in this world. And that's what this last song is. So I'd like to invite us all to stand for this last one as a symbol of God, hear our prayer, hear us as a church. So let's sing this. It's a pretty fun one, too, so feel free to, feel free to dance. Oh, I got a capo. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Yes, increase in us, we pray. Unveil our will made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope. That wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. church and we need your power we seek, we seek your kingdom first we hunger and we thirst we refuse to waste our lives for your our joy and pride to see the captive the sick, the poor of peace. We lay down our lives for heaven's cause. We are your church and we pray revive this earth. So build your kingdom here in the
have the benediction? Awesome. Our benediction for tonight is Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Let's go be the church.